Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to clean this air purifier and how to clean the air filter in this air purifier. And I'm not sure how to pronounce the brand name of this air purifier. It might be Eve. it might be Eve. I'm not sure, it might be something different. Uh, but this is their True HEPA air purifier and the model on this one is MK06. And before we begin, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions and make sure that the air purifier is both turned off and unplugged before you begin. Also, make sure that you read through the user manual for your air purifier before you begin. So the safety equipment that I use is I have a pair of safety glasses on and then I have a good quality mask here and a pair of nitrile gloves. And I wear this stuff because um, the air filter in here collects a lot of gross stuff. So, um, you know, I don't want that on my hands. I don't want that in my eyes and I don't want to breathe that in. So. Okay, so I'm going to get you a closer look at the air purifier and I'll talk about how to clean the air purifier and I'll talk about how to clean the air filter in this air purifier. All right, guys, I'm going to get the rest of my safety equipment on and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Okay, so for the external surfaces of the air purifier, you just want to use a dry cloth to clean the external surfaces of the air purifier. You do not want to use water, you do not want to use wax polish, and you do not want to use any chemical solution. Okay, now I'm going to take the air purifier and I'm just gently lifting this up and turning it over and then gently setting it down. And I'm going to get you guys a closer look at this side of the air purifier. Okay, so to remove the bottom cap, I just need to turn it a little bit this direction, um, counterclockwise, until this arrow right here matches up with that arrow right there. So I'm going to hold on to the air purifier with one hand and then with the other hand, I'm just turning the bottom cap until those two arrows match up like that. And then I'm just going to gently lift the bottom cap off of the air purifier. I'll just set it down there. And then here's the filter, and I'm just going to gently lift up the filter like this out of the air purifier, and I'm just going to set it down here. And for the inside of the air purifier here, you want to remove any dust or hair or debris that's in there. And if you do use a vacuum hose to do that, you want to make sure that the vacuum that you're using has the proper filtration um, because you don't want to just put that stuff back into the air. And with the bottom cap here, you want to remove any dust or hair or debris that's on the bottom cap. And if you do use a vacuum hose, just make sure that the vacuum has the proper filtration so you do not put that stuff back into the air. And on the air purifier and on the bottom cap and on the air filter, you do not want to use any water or any other liquids. And on the air filter, this outer part is called the outer pre-filter. And it talks about in the user manual that the outer pre-filter should be cleaned every two to four weeks. And you either want to use a soft brush or a vacuum hose. And if you do use a vacuum hose, you want to make sure that the vacuum has the proper filtration. That way you don't put that stuff back into the air. And if you do use a vacuum hose, you just want to be really careful when you vacuum the outer pre-filter. Um, just take your time and be careful so you don't damage the outer pre-filter or the filter. Um, and just slowly 
go around the whole outer pre-filter. And I don't have the vacuum turned on, I was just um, using the vacuum hose as a demonstration. Okay, so I'm just going to show you inside of where the air filter goes. And right there is what the air filter is going to fit around. And I'm just going to gently pick up. And the reason this filter still looks clean is because I've only turned this air purifier on for a little bit. Um, just for a previous video that I did where I did an unboxing and setup and gave my review of this uh, air purifier. So, and you want to make sure that there is no dust or hair or debris in there. And then I'm just going to take the filter and gently set it back into the air purifier. And you want to be careful because there are pinch points. And you just want to make sure that the filter is seated into place properly. And then when you have the air filter seated into place properly, I'm just going to take the bottom cap and there's these plastic tabs around the bottom cap. And I'm going to line those up with the spaces on the bottom of the air purifier. And I'm also lining up where this arrow is right here with this arrow right here. And you want to be careful because there are pinch points. I'm just going to lower the bottom cap into place. Okay, and when you do this, you want to be careful because there are pinch points. And I'm just making sure that the bottom cap is sitting all the way down on the bottom of the air purifier before I start to turn the bottom cap. And I'm holding on to the air purifier with one hand. And then with my other hand, I'm going to turn the bottom cap until that line matches up with that arrow. And now that line is matched up with that arrow. And I'm just going to make sure that the bottom cap is secured all the way into place. Okay, now I'm going to gently lift up the air purifier and then turn it over and then gently set the air purifier back down. And when you're all done, just make sure that you clean up the area where you were cleaning the air purifier and where you were cleaning the air filter for the air purifier. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. And like I mentioned earlier, I did make another video about this air purifier where I unbox this air purifier and I go through the setup process for this air purifier and I give my review of this air purifier. And if you're interested in half time, I'll link that video at the end of this one. So if you're interested in half time, please check that video out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.